Welcome back to the Crypto Gorilla YouTube channel. So the market does seem to be in quite a weird place. A lot of people that I'm talking with do feel bearish. We've seen OpenSea volume under 100 million for the third day in a row. Ethereum has finally broken under 3000 USD. And prominent people on Twitter have been mentioning this. You could see here, Dingaling says, can't wait to scoop up some nice capitulation. And he has been buying quite a lot of Azuki's. You also have Becker posting about how Bitcoin is going to go lower in his opinion. I am really hoping that we do get a MetaMask token airdrop that would really help add liquid because we are about to see the Moonbird sale, which is going to be 2.5 Ethereum for a 10K collection, as well as the Bored Ape land drop, which is going to go for one Ethereum each. So a bunch of liquid is potentially about to be sucked out of the market. Now, if we do go bearish, does that mean you can't make money? Absolutely not. There's still going to be a ton of great projects that are launching. You could hopefully buy up those blue chips that you've been eyeing. And of course, there's always going to be whitelist flips that hopefully 5 million X your money. As usual, I'm not a financial advisor. Everything I say in this video is just my opinion and you should always do your own research before buying or selling anything. So the first project on today's list is called Renga. Now I'm really loving the marketing that they have. They have these two videos. The first one is going to be in this room and the visuals combined with the sound really does set a vibe for this project. <laughs> The second one is going to be more of a Japanese samurai vibe, especially the music. So I'm really digging it. I love when projects do videos, when they do animations, because it does add life to the project. So this project is by an artist that goes by Dirty Robots. And this isn't Dirty Robots first collection. You can see here he has the Art of Seasons. They've actually recently pumped. I did scoop up two of these because they will count as whitelist for the upcoming project. And something that's unique about this series is there actually is an evolution trait. And what it does is it's sort of like a dark mode and a light mode. Here you could see these are the same NFTs. However, one has a dark background, one has a light background. And that's because where it is locally, for the owner of this NFT, it's daytime. And for all of these, it is nighttime. So that's just something cool. But as I mentioned, I did scoop up two of these because in the Discord, it says that this collection is going to be the passport for all of the future work as well as products that come out of Renga Factory. Now, Dirty Robots also has some pieces on Super Rare. They have gone for tens of thousands of dollars. Here you can see six Ethereum, 10, 20, 12, and another 10. So I really like the art style. I like the color palette that the artist chooses and it is represented throughout all of their art. Even if we hop onto the artist's Instagram, you could see over 160,000 followers and just a very consistent art style. And another thing I noticed, the artist did make three custom pieces for the Angry Ape Army artist collection. And in my opinion, these look great. So that's all the information I have on the Ranga collection for the moment. As I said, these will give you whitelist for the upcoming collection. But as I always warn you, I do own two of these. So if you do end up pumping this collection, I will be dumping my bags on you. The next project on today's list is going to be Ivy Boys by BBRC. Now, just like the previous collection, I really love the color palette of this art. I love the minimalistic style that these pieces have. The art does remind me a lot of an old school comic. I can't exactly pinpoint which one it is. I guess it does look somewhat like Tang Tang, especially the eyes, if we compare it back to these pieces. So it definitely has that old school, like I guess vintage, or like that classic look. Now they did recently reveal who the artist is. His name is Aaron Chang and he is the menswear illustrator and design director of New Balance Korea. If we hop on over to his Instagram, you could see he has almost 50,000 followers and I actually scrolled pretty far down in his Instagram for the past, I believe three years. He has been creating the Ivy Boys characters and that's always something I love to see with these artists just like Gangster All Star where they have been creating these characters. They've been creating a world for years. Years. So they are very passionate and they care about what happens to their brand. So not only do I love how these characters look, if we look here, they did some products with cards and I do find the characters do look very good. So this is going to go good on products. It's going to go good on merch. Now, speaking of merch, I did 
notice that the characters are wearing New Balance shoes, at least in this post, not throughout the collection. And if you click, you could see they have tagged New Balance. And that makes sense because as we saw, the artist does work with New Balance. He's the design director. If you scroll down, you can see that he has done merch for them in the past or not merch, clothing for them. However, there is no official partnership with New Balance. However, the founder of BBRC, which stands for Benjamin Barker Recreational Club, is also the founder of Benjamin Barker, the clothing brand. So hopefully we can see the clothing being produced by this company because it's gonna be much higher quality than the typical merch you get out of the average NFT collection. So this brand combined with the skill of the artist as well as his color palette, I do see some very good merch coming out of it. And as I said, I really like the art for this one. So I'm definitely looking forward to this mint. Now, I do not know the price of it. I know the collection size is gonna be 7,777 and it should be happening in late April. The other thing I wanna note is that the collection or this collection is called Ivy Boys and it is part of BBRC. So hopefully BBRC becomes something like Random Character Collective, the, the server for Invisible Friends, for Slim Hoods, for Mood rollers or something like Nanoverse where it's one thing that umbrellas a ton of things and that the Ivy Boys can be the Genesis collection for all the future drops and that'll definitely add a ton more value to these pieces. The next collection I want to talk about is called Yoki. Now this is one I actually tweeted about last week because I really loved the artist's one of ones. So the artist's name is Sered Toy and he has been creating these pieces for quite a while. If you look on foundation you could see he has some very high sales. He has has 5.5 ETH, 5 ETH, he has a 3 ETH, 6 ETH. So a bunch of his pieces have sold for quite a lot of money. Now I know I often look at this for artists and it is easy to create your own collection and then just buy up your own floor and make it look like you have sales. Now to get on foundation, you do need to be nominated by somebody else in order to have an account, but you should always check who is buying the pieces. So in the case of this artist, you can see here, Snoop Dogg has purchased a piece. If we scroll down here, you could see Vincent Van Doe has purchased multiple pieces. So for me, this one definitely checks out. And I personally just really love these pieces. Now, another thing about these pieces is they kind of remind me of Three Landers, how Three Land was creating these worlds with all of his different characters. And a fun fact is the artist for Three Landers, the artist for Lonely Pop, the artist for Gangster All-Star, and this artist, they're all Thai. So they do actually have connections to each other and they talk. So hopefully we can see some sort of collab between all those those collections. Now, other than that, I don't have that much information. I don't think there's a Discord for this one yet, and I have not seen a roadmap. So we're just gonna have to wait. All we know is that it's going to be a 10K collection. And as I said, due to the similarities and the connection to something like Three Landers, hopefully this one performs well, and we can see a similar floor to the Three Landers collection. Last but not least, I wanna talk about some upcoming collections out of the Haas ecosystem. Now they recently dropped part one of their white paper, and I will be doing a much more detailed video on this ecosystem as well as others. However, one of the most bullish things to come out of this white paper is the employees behind Fabrics, which is the company behind Haas. And that is that there are 33 employees coming from Apple, Microsoft, Disney, Netflix, Amazon, and other known tech startups. So that did help pump the floor of the Haas modules, as well as the Muri collection, as well as some things that they mentioned about Muri in the white paper. The base modules went all the way up to 1.7, they have retraced down to 1.3. Again, I personally own two of these. I have one of the base modules and then I have one of the middle tiers. And I personally purchased each of those around one Ethereum. Now, if you're wondering about these, they do give you access to all of their future drops. So that's some things that we're gonna look at now. So the next upcoming drop in the Haas ecosystem, which they do mention in the white paper is going to be Niwa. It's going to be these characters here. And they do mention that it is going to be a streetwear play. However, they also also mentioned that they're going to make it a game where you could walk around with your character. So I personally like the branding behind Haas. They always have a white profile picture. They have a white banner. However, some of the things they're saying here, they have a seed. They're mentioning time for a garden party. And this does remind me a lot of Azuki rather than a seed. Azuki has the bean and Azuki does often say, welcome to the web three garden inside of their discord. It is called the garden. So this does seem very close 
marketing wise to Azuki, but I'll let you make up your own mind about that. However, the history of Haas drops, you have the Haas pets, you have Murray, you have the Haas passes, which are way up from their minting price. I believe they minted for 0.02, as we saw they're at 1.3 ETH. So almost a 70 X return. So these collections often do quite well. So I would definitely keep an eye on them if you're able to get whitelist without even holding a Haas pass. The next one, and I might butcher the name, Chikadas, I believe it's called Chikadas or Chikada. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce this one. This is the next one. It is not mentioned in the white paper. However, you can see here, it has the same branding, right? The white PFP, the white banner, and you can see right here, Fabric, which is, as I said, the company behind Haas is following this Twitter. Now, the only information we do have about it is this image, which I really like. It's going to be this spirit girl standing in front of a wave. In that wave, you could see some sort of creature, which if I had to guess, which kind of does look like the pets inside of the Haas pets. I don't know what to call this. I guess it's like a Game Boy. So maybe this is going to have something to do with the Haas pets. However, this image does remind me a lot of something out of Studio Ghibli. The next collection, again, I'm not sure what the relation to the Haas ecosystem is. This one is called Pseudo. Once again, you have the white PFP, you have the white banner, and I understand it's easy to fake that. Any collection can pretend to be part of Haas. Now, this one is not followed by Haas. It's not followed by Fabrics. However, it is followed by ETH Asa, which is the founder of Haas but I don't know much about this one. It seems like it's an app for Web3 music, connect your music NFT library. So not much info on this. If you DM them, it does seem like you can get early access. So maybe I'll go ahead and do that. But the final project I wanna talk about in this one, I have not done my research on. I literally just found it. It is called Ico Virtual. And the reason I bring it up is because Asa, the founder of Haas and the founder of Fabric does seem to be pushing it. Here you see they say, my Myself in Ico Virtual. To be honest, the most underrated project in the space. So I'm not sure if they're just supporting a colleague, if they're supporting a friend, or if this will have something to do with the Haas ecosystem. However, in the Haas Discord, they did also do a post to have us go raid this Twitter. So it does seem like one way or another, Asa is trying to support this collection. Now, again, as I mentioned, I've done zero research into this one. I pretty much just looked at the art. I looked quickly at the roadmap. There's nothing that really stood out to me. Here you have, they're gonna donate to charity. While it's, it's nice to do that, it adds zero value to the collection and there's nothing that really pops. So it's really gonna be on the art, which I do really like the art. It looks great. It is playing on the current anime trend. I'm not sure if that trend is over. Today we had Hikari go all the way up from 0.09 to 0.64. So after fees, you had like a 6X. It is down to roughly a 4X at 0.38. So we'll see if this trend continues depending when this mints, seeing as there is currently no mint date. Or maybe we will get some announcement that you know, Haas holders do get whitelist automatic for this collection. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, would you kindly hit the subscribe button, smash that bell notification. Thank you for watching the Crypto Gorilla. Peace.